Take the battery off, guys. Negative first. All right. Now we put this aside. Yeah, carrier bag. Make sure there's no accidental contact damage. So you just take it out. Just wiggle it about. So it's coming away. There. Now wrap it up. Nice couple of layers of the plastic. And that's going nowhere. Okay, leave that there. Next one. Positive. You don't need a ratchet mechanism. You can do it with the pliers or a spanner. But just make sure you don't damage your bolts. Leave it all on there, wiggle it again, and I've got another bag, even different. This one, oh, guys, we're gonna take the headrest off. So you press that, and you lift it up, and there's the headrest come off. Put it on the back seat in the back corner, because we're not gonna use this part of the area to the car. All right, so all this to get out of the way. Moving the car mats out of the way, put it to the other side. Okay, now we're going to take this car mats out of the way. Here, this way. We're going to do that. And we're going to move this seat, I believe, all the way to the back or the front. I'll have to check the guide. So you move the seat all the way to the front. Can you record that? Yeah. Okay. Open this door. We want to take this one off and that one off. Mm. The interesting thing is, so this is from the back seat, guys, coming in, and this is the little cubby holding area. To that is a, not attached to the seat, so to take that off, you just pull this guy open like that and you take that screw off and then you can take this cubby cubby part show you then you can take this part away because he has to come off to get this guy out or it gets in the way underneath here all right so we're gonna do that now that somewhere here okay I've just left it in the holder there leave that guy there with it so we know there we are so we removed that screw guys now if you want to move that seat back all right now just behind here you want to grab it and pull because there's a little catch here all right now i go to the other side this is the passenger side all right and i show you there all right can you see so you just put your finger here and you just gently lift that up and there it goes all right you see that comes away like that okay so to take the back of the seat guys you need a 12 E12, that shape, one, two, three, four, six, star shape. Come in here, I'll do this one, nice and tight fit. Put this guy somehow in. This is really tight, guys. <clears throat> Did that move? Or is it damaging? No, that's moved, okay. Now you can just use your finger. Now, with all screw threads, I'd say do little by little. Don't do one all, because it might pivot. This one's got a little bit less room to work with, so. There we go. Now, I'm not gonna open these anymore. I'm gonna leave them there. 
and go around. Morning. 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 All right, we'll move the seat all the way back. Just, just stay there. You've got a flat screwdriver. Just lift this carpet out. You can even just use your finger. It's, it's never been moved, so it's just really stiff. There we are. Have a look. So we're going to take that guy off. And here. This is the front of the seat, guys. And that one off. And then the whole track will come off with the seat. Mm, these metal things got really sharp bits, so... I'm thinking it might be a little bit of a wiggle, try not to damage anything. Get it out, okay? Now. So, so for these guys, you need something a bit long, because that thread has to go through, and we worked out this is a 16 mil. All right, don't go for the inches one. It's exactly 16 mil. We tried the other sizes. So loosen a little bit, that will lift up, then go and loosen the other one. Okay, don't try to do it all in one go. Now come back and do that one. Record this part, show you. Come here. We're doing all this because of this here. It's time to rip underneath on the inside. I would estimate maybe 20,000 times people have got in and out. 10,000 mostly with me. And that is moved, and that cloth is now, can you see? It's hitting the metal in there. I'm going to take this whole thing off and pad it and put it back on okay It's a long thread. Wow. I don't know why it needs to be that long. This one's being a bit annoying. Is that further than the other one? This is the easy part. Look like it's been. I'll just do it this way. Yeah. There we are. And if you go to the other side. <laughs> so, and this one to show you. So these are electrics guys for your airbag. Now to take it off, just gonna have a look around. This part does scare me. This one's easy, there you go, done. So underneath, you press that, show you again. You 
can't really go wrong with the key system there you press it and it comes off done but this red one press it here nothing nothing ah, is it connected anything yeah I'm gonna try and take this pin off guys because then I'll be able to look there now now I can have a better look ah can you see it yeah that's All right. okay so for safety obviously guys they've got double mech here we just worked it out first you need to get the green clip out and then press this button here I show you you don't want to damage this so that's why I was being a bit cautious earlier just there just prise that up you see that clip there's no spring nothing it's just a clip on and then press that tiny little take the gloves off press that tiny guy and da -da. there you go okay so I, I would put that back because you don't want that falling off because then that connection might not be as strong as before leave that there no no problem there okay awesome. but this is the fun easy part so we don't want these sharp angles hitting anything and damaging so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it Actually, I'm going to move this forward to that position there. then don't hold that bar It's heavy. Okay, so just be careful with your backs. I'm going to angle it and get the steering wheel in there. Like so, tilt it. And then nice and easy. Don't touch anything. And we're out. Let's show them this. Ready? Up at the top of the car. This is from the Smart 44. When I first got this car, this, this arm is the height adjustment. This is a replacement one. The original smart one was really weak. It didn't have this webbing at the bottom. And it just cracked here one day and broke. Um, I'm a driving instructor and this gets used quite a lot. At least I would say five times a day. So you pump it up like that, okay? And it broke. I got a replacement one. It was about £10 to £15. Now to replace this is dead easy. You get something really small and thin. And there's a little cover here. You just put it in there. And then you just prise that off. There we go, it's slowly coming. You will get a bit of damage on here, guys. It's just a cap, but there's no other way to get it off. There we are. All right, so you got a little bit of a groove here. You can give it a sand down. And then using, I think it's a torque 8, you get that off. Now, try and remember the way the plate is round, and there's a little location point here as well so then you get it on that angle you can end up like that that's no good getting in and out of the car and you can end up having it really low here as well so just remember that location point there and it's going to be that way around okay so it's a t40 let's put it in there If you guys are wondering why the seat is in my dining room, I've actually taken the seat off to change this cover or paddy up here because it's starting to rip here. Underneath the the padding has got worn out. It's broken. So I'm going to re it underneath. Um, and just there we are. Keep it that way. So there's the location. And remember that one to the left back. So there. Put that to one side. Okay, so it's clipped on here. 
just having a feel round. So that unclipped. I don't want to break anything. Just have a feel. There you go. It's coming away. And that actually hooks on. There's a lip here, guys, at the top. Alright, so I can't feel any screws or anything. Just being be careful see that's the lip that was holding on so next time you know put it in there push it on so next time open lift it up All right. got a little scratch here but it's okay it goes on the inside not a problem put that to one side the Mercedes most probably 120 quid for that all right so now if you do need to take the back off guys this part from there, there's the torque. It's labeled 10. So it says a T10 or T9. So it can also give you a good clean. And there you are. The fabric's starting to. Not too much of a problem. It'll come off. Oh, there's a plastic rivet here. So that's the way they've got that part. And then I only need to get in this area. I didn't even really need to take up everything for myself. Now underneath. Now, I'm gonna tilt this guys. Just gonna have a little investigation round. Now there is some plastic here hooked onto a metal part here. So I'm thinking I might be able to just Yeah, aha, result. So on this one, they haven't even done the metal. Now, I put the end off, if I come down to this area. Okay, so I need. So I've got a couple of flat screwdrivers here. What is, I think this side's up already, yeah. So I'm just going to leave that there so it doesn't hook back in. Go to the other side, grab it, and then just put it down. Now one side off, there's something in the middle catching. For some reason, that middle part won't come off. I think it's coming, I think it's coming. I just need... This, this subframe is in the way. I don't really want to take it off. Uh, it's just going to need a bit of work, guys. There's just no room to get the leverage in the middle. All right, let's try that again. So that comes off. Don't want to break this. This. Oh, there we are. Nope, haven't broken it. There we go. All right. That's it, the inside there is all broken. And I just get some padding in there, and I'm done. Yes! Did I have to take the cover off? <laughs> yeah! But for you guys, if you want to take it off, you, you see how it is. There. Come around here, babe. So you've got rivet there. I'll give you a better light. Ugh. So you've got a better light there, rivet. Now, usually these things on the inside, if you just pinch it with a long nose pliers, you can just pull them off. I'm not going to go there because I don't want to break that clip because that's holding quite a lot there. All right, give it a good clean. And that's this side. I'm sure the other side, I'll flip, I'll flip it over and have a look. I'll show you guys. Oh, it's heavy. Where did he come from? He was... The plastic. Part of that guy. Let's put in with there. Now, we're going to have a look at the other side, guys. Because I'm not going to take it off, but it will help you. If you guys do need to take this whole thing off. This is... If you're not sure how this is done, this it's not just fabric and then separate cushion. The actual cushioning, the padding, the foam is actually stuck on the underside of this fabric. So, 
I'll just show you here, there, feel it there, there, it's all stuck there. You might want to replace it with leather from the Brabus or get new fabric or from a scrapyard. Now, I, I can see it for start straight away. Um, <clears throat> so you open this exactly like the other way you took the seat height thing. And I'm sure there's a screw in there, you undo that. There's a, there's a screw here, just like the other one. All right, so undo that, and then just slowly work and prise this off. And then I'm sure, yep, I can feel it. The plastic is here, prise that open. There's nothing really going on there, it's just going wrap around, look, it's loose. Can you see? So that's easy. You don't have to mess about with this guy. Work all the way around. Yep, there's another plastic here. Okay, I'll show you the front. It's like a U-shaped plastic. They stretched it and then just grabbed on. There's no metal, nothing there. And you can just undo that really easily. And there's another plastic one in the corner and another plastic one in the corner. I'll show you, I'll clip it. There we are. All right. So there's a plastic. Look, watch this how easy it is so I'm pushing the fabric stretching it and then there it is you see the u-shape there you go so that's a short one there's a long one and there's another short one in the corner okay now to put it back on stretch the fabric grab the metal fill the clip done So guys, on my car seat, because it's a driving instructor's car, thousands of people got, got in over the last 11 years and they're starting to rip. So what I'm going to do is, I kept this foam from my old office chair. I just kept the top. Um, I know foams like this come in handy, even to make a seat cover or something. Um, I'm going to cut a shape out. Now put my hand underneath and I can feel just about here, there's a metal frame. And that's what's happened. The foam that they used, this, is starting to break up. And I'll show you there. You see? It's all breaking off. And once the foam got broken, the fabric was hitting the metal, and that's where it's ripping. So I'm just going to coat that frame with a layer of this foam to give it a cushion. And for added protection, I'm going to get the top covered as well. Because I plan to keep this car for a long time and I just want to keep it as original as possible. So I've done is I sort of put my hand underneath and I've sort of measured it's about nine inches. And to me nine inches is about there. If it goes wrong, not a problem. I've got some more foam here. Stuck that all underneath. There, now that's too long. So, what I'm trying to do is get it up and wrap it around the metal and have it like that, and that will protect. All right, and I think this will last longer than what they use in there. So, see how it goes. Mm. What I might do is to make it easy for myself, make the ends a bit thinner so it helps with feeding it through all right so I'm just because quite thick this is this is I think about an inch maybe an inch and quarter so about 30 millimeters thick all right so you like the size even smaller so it's about to work off with the larger size first if you cut it too small, then that piece might be no good to you. Okay, yep, that's a good size. Okay, so now I'm just gonna feed that through. Maybe taking that rivet would have been a good idea. Okay, so here we are. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna feed it through from the underneath here. Yep, that's one part done. Second part done, third part done, 
I should come and have a look guys. There we are, look what I've done. Do you see why I made it thin here? So it's come round. And that U is completely wrapped that silver frame. Now that will give it a little bit more life. Then I can slide it all the way to here. And now I'll show you. Put it back on. I can even see a slight tinge of that green. And I can feel it. I don't feel the metal now. All right, there we are. I'll massage that in. And that will go round and clip on. And there we are, back to padding. But I'm gonna add more here, a little bit more, where the break is. Now I'm gonna add material between the broken foam. The first part was to wrap the metal. Now I'm gonna add there, because it's a bit of a hole. And on this one, Sure that this scissors okay yeah that's better okay so that's gonna go on the inside I'm just gonna cut this corners off cool here we go put it back on the side this should do it guys it's gonna have loads of protection and hopefully I really, obviously the seats have faded, um, it is 11 years old, and I don't want to go and get new seat covers, or try and find, my seats are not stained or anything, because they've had a cover on it, and all the seat covers I've seen from uh, Salvage, stained horrible. That's it, so there's just one little hole there which is okay I can live with that I'll clean all this up that feels really good that's got double protection now brilliant and it feels natural as well I'm really happy with that so I'll clip it all back in see how I took it off that should be it and I'll show you the next part how I put it all back in So I've given this fabric a few stitches over here, right? Um, quite a few things for to lock into position. That's gonna go in, but there's quite a bit of stretch there. Have a look. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna grab that up, at the same time that and that, and then I'm gonna lift this over this edge here. On my first attempt, this actually got stuck underneath here, and it was warping this part. So just be careful. You're gonna need quite a bit of strength. You might even need a small that is screwdriver. So here we go. First, that's clipped on there into position. Now, round the back, I'm going to stretch it over all the part that needs to go there. So that's in position. Now, here you have to do a little bit of wrestling. Alright, so you're going to lift that up. There you see. There. See that? It won't go. That lip is too long and it hits that. So you've got to slowly. Prize the old one, can you see? There, 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 and there we are. That's it. Solid. Okay. Now, we're going to go around the back. I'll turn it for you guys to see. Oi! Muscles from Brussels. Oh, sorry. Man, no, Brussels. Something like that. Brussels. So this guy just... There we go. And first part, we can just put him in. Like so, and make sure that's it. Good. Now, I always like to check my work, so I'm just going to give it the once over. That's clipped on, that's clipped on, that's good. And there's nothing there, it's all good. The Fabric carpet is This is a torque screw guys, so not sure about the size. I'm sure you have a Oh no it's there. 
T25. All right, so T25 for this. And there's another one on the other side if you want to take the whole thing off. Okay. Now, we are going to put the height adjustment one back on. There we are. This, this was sticking out guys like this, so it wasn't catching onto this key system. I'll just show you. It was up like that, and that wasn't reaching that to locate. And I was like, oh, it doesn't reach. So just have to push that in. Obviously, the extra padding is also in the way a little bit, no problem. Right. That's the area, okay? I think that's how it was. And you can even feel it, it's sort of locks into that position. Put that on. Let me decide. Wrong way. Switch the setting. So guys, I've just given it a quick clean. I've just got to connect these two guys and then slowly connect these and these. And then I think we're good to go. I've put the plastic on, the cover on. So I've left these guys because they belong here. Just stay within reach. Let me give you a good clean. Get that in there like that. Slowly tilt it around. Remember we did this, now we know what to do, you can even actually just use your nail. So clip it in, push it down, put this guy in, done. So there we are. Very straightforward. You can't put it in the wrong way because it's a key mech. Now this guy was on a holder, he goes in there. And this one was go under. And he went that way. So one's actually the pre-tensioner um, for the seat belt and one's for the airbag. Alright guys, make sure there's not too much twist or anything on there. That's good. Lift this guy up. Now when you're putting this in guys, be careful. I've been in engineering for a few years. You don't want this hole damaging your thread. Then you're going to have a problem. Alright, so take your time. Just line it up. Then don't press it. Put one in, and that's it. Awesome. Okay. Now I've realized this the seat is too far forward. That's it. Now we're just gonna hand tighten these for a bit so they don't jump out. Give it a little wiggle. It's fairly central. Now these are gonna have to really tighten because can you see you don't want that movement while you're driving. Now where's the other big one going? So I've got my 16 already. This is a 16 millimeter torque. Um, if you haven't got 16, I'll tell you the nearest one that works, 5 8 also is. Engineers, hardcore engineers will tell you 5 8 is 16, but it's about half a mil out, guys. But it's good enough. So we attach, change the lock. No, that's open. That's close. So we're not going to tighten it all, guys. Because this was quite a long thread there's not much room to get much twist because of this foam so just take your time lift it up that's good leave that there now we're going to move the seat forward
now our 12 mil torque star shape six points put these guys in now these are the location ones you want to make sure this is why i haven't tightened the other ones because these don't have that much give see so you've got to line this one up perfectly now if you tighten the other ones we wouldn't be able to move this around there's not much room to work here with the fingers but try and do as much as you can with the fingers done there will be wind noise on this uh, recording guys but it's no way to avoid it i'm just using my mobile phone i haven't got my gopro out with the speakers because gopro doesn't have um the shake tool and it would have been a very shaky video we let this with this one the camera's shake feature will kick in and make it a little bit more bearable so what i've done is i've just used this in my hand it's got a little bit of grip get it as much as i can in there all right now we've got good location give you a little wiggle make sure it's all settled done i can't do any more with the hand come with the mech have i got it on the right way no tighten that way and tighten away <clears throat> and nice and tight <clears throat> good <clears throat> i'll keep an eye on these because obviously in factory they use a torque measuring tool a certain amount of force has to go on but just over the next few weeks i'll keep an eye on these <clears throat> That's good, they're done. Move the seat back. And now we're gonna tighten these guys for. But again, taking turns. going to put this pocket holder thing now remember there's a clip here you don't want to break that so it goes in and then just clip round oh yeah I did it while you were warming yourself up and having a cup of tea love so you see there yeah go in there you're in now the shape is there if you come round over me so you just want to get underneath that track like that and then just feel the click, it already clicked in. So I'll just take it off, there's my hand, you take it off like that, you see? Mm -hmm. And as it goes in, those little two corners have to go underneath the track, and there you heard the click, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. That's in position now. Now grab this guy for the back, there's the single screw, and that's just a cover. I do have another cover, but it's in the glove compartment. Once I was hoovering and it came off and I just chucked it in there. All right, let's go. This one needs Now, before you put this on, you gotta put the screw on. So this is a T20. And grab. There's loads of play here, so. Probably come around this way. It's probably the sun. Oh, there it is. It was way off, but it's not. There we are. All smart fofos have this little pocket, so you've got to remove it to get to this side box. There we are. So it's just on plastic, nice and tight. 
plastic wrap to the spring. Now you can see this, you just play the shape when you can. When you think he's got it there, and then just wiggle it a little bit. So you have this cover thing for the track. There we are. Alright, and just goes. Done. Now we're gonna make sure my hands are not dirty. Starting to rain. Okay, and we're just gonna put this back on. Fill the clip. Positive back on first, play the backwards, I don't know. So we're just reconnecting the battery back up. Last thing to do. And fingers crossed, the airbag won't go off. It shouldn't. Close that. Open this guy up. Want to make sure all good give you a moment to register awesome and most importantly radio but the smart 44 guys has no code so there's no code that's radio and it works all right thanks for watching guys hope this video helps you Please hit the subscribe, like button, and I love my Smart 44. I plan to keep it for a very long time. Hopefully it's going to be a classic. There's only, there's only not so many made. Thank you now guys. Bye.